Hi, in today's session, we're going to look at how to get the JDBC URL for SAP HANA cloud system in order to get a connection established from external clients. Most of the times we just need to provide a cloud host and port along with the user credentials in order to get a connection established. For example, if I wanted to connect to SAP HANA cloud using smart data integration, I just need to have cloud host and port provided um, as required. I can get the cloud host and port information from the HANA cockpit. I can go to the HANA cockpit, can see the host here, and the port is going to be 443 for JDBC connectivity. Along with the host and port, I will provide my user and password credentials to get the access established to the HACP HANA cloud system. However, in many other cases, we may have to provide full URL, uh, JDBC URL, in order to establish a connection to SAP HANA Cloud. One example I can show you is when you are trying to connect from Amazon Web Services to SAP HANA, you may have to provide a full JDBC URL. It's going to look like this. So you can see it's a SAP HANA connectivity est established from AWS Glue. You can see the JDBC URL I, I provided as uh, JDBC, SAP, and forward slashes and the host and port information. Sometimes this naming convention of having JDBC in, in, in front of prefix may not be always same as this one. So we may have to get the URL, a full URL, or provide the full URL to the external clients in order to get the connection established. So where do we get this URL? Or where do we find, or where do we, can get the JDBC URL in SAP HANA Cloud System. Let's go to the uh, services of SAP HANA Cloud. I can go to the cockpit and I can see the my instances here. And I have to find any one of the instances of HDI share, which is going to be your container when you uh, build or deploy a container uh, using Business Application Studio you get a container created or a instance, a service instance created, which is of type HDI share. So go in there and then you can find a service key associated to this service instance. So I'm going to open the shared key and then you can find the URL at the very beginning. So you're going to see um, JDBC, SAP and the host and port information. So you can grab this URL um, and then provide this as the JDBC URL to the external clients in order to establish the connection. Along with this JDBC URL, you may just need to provide user ID and password of the HANA Cloud system to get the required access to the schemas or whatever applicable to that particular user ID. That's all for this uh, today's session. Uh, thank you for listening. Bye-bye.